Guys, welcome back. This is Gambler. I know it's a little bright. I apologize. Um, people have actually been asking for this video. Uh, let me get the mic a little bit closer. Uh, this is going to be a very unique situation. This is going to be a Starborn um, kind of just listening to me ramble for a while. People have been asking for Alliance comp videos, and I was sitting here <clears throat> prepping the spreadsheet for this episode but why not just do it live and you guys can hear me out, hear my thought process on this. You know, I'm trying to, I'm to trying to develop, uh, different comps that you can go, uh, it like, but, but I just, I'm just going to sit here and just spitball some stuff. <clears throat> so, like I said, this is going to be Alliance comp video. Uh, you can hear me out on, on my ideas on this. <clears throat> so this first slot, you, your alliance needs the, the ability to put down a thousand strength probes. It's just required. Um, there, it's too strong. Um, you need to be have vision of the map. You need to be able to push war fronts and get vision. Uh, flying really, really, really fast, 60, 70, 80 speed or more on dropping thousand point probes, lighting up your own. Uh, vision of your front lines or your where your capital ship assemblies are or your capitals uh, anything that you need vision or around like your main hub area where you've landed you need a thousand point probes pretty much at all times dropping you know five day six day probes or longer uh, to keep vision of seeing if stations are landing on top of you um, this, the stealth thing, I'm not really going to get into, but you guys can understand the concepts. You guys can go look for that information on the scan strength versus the stealth coin flip interactions of stealthing, you know, shutting off habdomes, stealth, uh, shutting off of, uh, capital ship assemblies, all that good stuff. But like, like I said, my reflection on Uh, you need it. You have to have an Atlas. You need the ability to drop a thousand point probes. That's why we have Atlas. The next required thing you need is at least one, if not two TN players. Uh, if this person is not online, like this person has to sleep. So it might be, you know, that you have to are required to run two TN players. So maybe we go in here. And uh, this person needs to sleep, so you need two TM players. Atlas, Atlas is a, is a is a unique situation where, as long as they have they know their assignment, you they know where where you know you're keeping uh, an uh, an idea of where fobs are warping, enemy fobs are warping around the map where your next location that you're sending your fobs are going. They can start placing vision down before the warps actually happen um, atlas doesn't need to be online every single second of the day but it's really nice to have tn players online because in that moment you might need a spy report to see what kind of cards ships have what kind of cards stations have all that good stuff so this is just my thought process thinking out loud <clears throat> you might need uh, required to have two in two TN players. Okay. Uh, one for hopefully they're playing on off hours, maybe one EU player. Uh, we can go in here and do this. So maybe one EU and then, um, one, uh, maybe us. If you have a us player that's willing to, or has access to TN, they can, um, fill those roles. They play at different times, or they they have the ability to be on at different times. Uh, we we uh, we do those. So next next thing, and these are kind of a clustered concept. Imagine for a second, anytime you want to run ops, you need sabotage, you need a hammer, and you need bombers. So this is back to that concept of if you have a a alliance uh, that's full of sixteen people, what are your needs? Well. You have, let's say, let's pretend for a second, and I'm going to write this where you guys can see it. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger, uh, 36. 
you have four fobs that you can get, okay? We have access to four fobs. So we have team one, team two, team three. And you can, you can, uh, you can create Discord channels for these teams that only they can see. They, they're running their own ops. They're picking their own. Um, and, and, and these players, let me do this real quick. Copy, paste, delete this. Copy this. And then paste this. And then uh, go in here and edit this. So team four. Okay. So we've got, we got our four teams here. And every single one of these teams, so we're going to copy this and go like this and paste and then just delete these. So every single one of these comps needs a Sabo, a Bomber, and a Hammer. Every single one of these comps needs that. So maybe we, we put this down to 18. Okay, there we go. Copy and paste. So now getting back to your have twos, if you've got four fobs, you need, th you need three of each one of these things. I'm not saying eventually like these comps, like you're going to have frontline stuff. You're going to be able to land stations. They don't have to be in the fobs, but what I'm getting at, it's really nice with your Sabo to turn off logistics hubs, to turn off, um, uh, missile batteries to, to, to whelp into enemy Sabo fleets. Okay. And maybe the half two here is, is you want a non Sabo hammer for, oops, a non Sabo hammer or a not, excuse me. Let me re rephrase this non, non team, a Sabo hammer for clearing stuff out of the way for your ops teams. And hopefully that, that makes sense. And I'll explain my reasoning. You need somebody clearing the way for the, the ops crews, uh, for pushing something you want, you want something. I'm not saying this person has to be stealth, but just, it's really nice to have another Sabo player that can soften things up or Zerg things. So this is, this is, this, this is non, this is a non ops Sabo. Okay. And so we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this. Sabo. And we'll kind of write a little, I'm going to write a little description here so you guys can see this. Um, not part of, uh, fob ops teams. Uh, just clearing the way. So we can make this, um, let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller. And we'll go like 11. Did that work? Did that work? I don't think it did. Still 23, go 11. And then maybe we'll uh, just push this, move this over just a little bit. Okay, you guys can kind of see still what's going on. Maybe I'll move this over just a little bit. Okay, that works. So... Uh, make this a little bit bigger. Come on, man. Cool. Not far to op fob ops teams, just clearing the way. So maybe this person is Atlas or TN. Maybe they are going a Zyok recon build, getting, uh, you know, having access to maybe we go like this we will go insert a column to the left and like i said this is just atlas this is tn this is just um just the uh the faction i'm just gonna put faction here just so we make sure we, we were keeping track of this this person can may, maybe this person uh, of the bomber role is zayok the bomber role is Zyok. They don't have to. Like you could go, you're trying to get access to military slots, running gunboat uh, diplomacy, maybe getting, if you want to stack a little bit more HP on them, you know, going overkill, 
uh, going, you know, these, you know, you're looking at your policies that you've leveled up and, and, and kind of manipulating your fleets in a way that you feel comfortable. If you're going, if you are the bomber, you're going gunships, carriers are going gunships, destroyers, uh, you know, it's just, it's just you either, either ask your leader what they want, or you just find your comfort area. Um, gunships take a lot of metal. So maybe you're going to go metal and then dreadnoughts because you have, a, you, you are really hurting on metal and you need to uh, use dreadnoughts for crystal. Uh, there's, there's very, there's uh, different interactions uh, that you can keep, uh, that you can, you can do. So you're kind of balancing your economy as well. Um, is there another option for this? I mean, I guess maybe you can go MPL. I don't know if MPL is good. That's more of an, those are industrial slots. Maybe go, maybe it's Zayok or maybe Frontier. If you want to go FR, FR, oh, and Frontier, Zayok. We can go like this. Copy, paste. Ha so pure hammers. And the reason, the reason I make the case for Zayok is because for hammer, it's because you have four, for military, uh, four military slots. You have three military slots, wild card, or maybe it's, it might be five. Is it four? It might be four, or it's actually five military. So four, I forget which one it is. It might actually be three green, a blue wild card and, and a red. It might just be four. So it, it, so you have three military slots in the wild card for the fourth. So it might be that. So that's why you, you want, uh, you want to go Zyok for your big ball of whatever. So when you're talking about a Zyok hammer, you know, you're going to destroyer carrier builder, you're going frigates, carriers, frigates for crystal metal, uh, metal for carriers, and then just going pure either firepower HP or firepower, firepower on these builds. So we'll go slash a Zyok and then we'll, why doesn't this work? I don't understand. Control copy and then control paste. Sabo hammer. Maybe this person could possibly be Atlas. Um, for, I don't, I, 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 I should have the, um, the factions open so I, I could have more reflection on this, but you know, there, there's nothing you're, you're, you're stacking, um, buffs for recons and scouts. So whatever those policies are in. So if it is, do, if they are domain buildings to buff those ships, that's exactly what you need to be doing. You need to have access to those policy card slots. So Atlas, maybe TN, so we can, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use that for now, uh, for both of these. So you want buffs for scouts. You want buffs for recons, whatever, whatever faction that does that the best. That's what you want to be running. If you're going Sabo. So now that we've, so, so far Atlas, a couple of TN for, these are our spy spy. So spy. And then TN. Spy reports. Atlas is our probes. Thousand. Thousand probes. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So now we got this field that these are have twos. You're required to have these. You are required. This is not an option. Atlas thousand point probes Two spy guys. Hopefully one's EU one's hopefully one's us. So they how they are sleeping at different times. And so their activity is more reliable that one of them is going to be online to get some spies out. Okay. So one or both of these guys are stacking. Um, God, what the heck is it called? Civic intelligence buildings. Okay. Not only are they building recons they're they're doing some kind of niche. Um, oh, these, these also can be some of your Sabo guys. Okay. So this is going to be Sabo. Not only are they playing TN, but they're Sabo. So maybe one of the one or two or both of these guys, or at least one of them can be part of either this non Sabo 
ops player or be part of this Sabo uh, trio that, that we were talking about by assigning um, teams to the fobs. Cause you, every, in my opinion, you need, you need, you want teams, you, you want, if you're sending one fob in one direction, you're sending another fob in another direction and you possibly are holding another front on another front or holding an, a fob on another front and playing defense. These are all three different entities, meaning three different teams that should be operating on that front out of a different fob. Okay. So, and then obviously trying to, to match people up that are, that play at the same time. You don't want your, you don't want your team four to be EU and US and a Australian player or, you know, whatever it is, or two US and one EU and their bombers always offline or their sabotage guys are always offline or their hammers always offline. Try to pair people up that are in the same time zone. At least have that talk right now. It's two days, three days before a new server drops. You know who you, who your guys are. Talk to them. At least if you're the leader, talk to your guys and at least form one, if not two teams, two teams that are going to be using fobs to access the map. Okay. And, and run ops together. Okay. So getting back to this, we have, now we have these, uh, so I'm going to put a little mark on here. So these are part of ops teams. So bomber, we're going to put, we're going to put the number in front. So one bomber, oops. So that's team one. Okay. Two bomber. So team two. Zyok one, uh, two hammer, maybe, maybe one of these guys can fill one of these. Okay. So maybe this guy's part of team one. So this is your, this is team one. So Alliance member two, let's just go like this copy and do this, go paste. And then, uh, we can, we can fudge this. So team. So like I said, actually, so let's make, let's change this. Let's change this to team one. Okay. And this is team two. Okay. And then three and then four. Okay. So let's copy this. Paste this. So we're getting this filled out and this is. This, this, these aren't changing. These are half twos. Okay. These are, these are half twos. Okay. So, so you have Alliance member two, Alliance member. So, so Sabo, Bomber, Hammer. So we got four and we got six. So these are the members that are part of this team. Hopefully. They're at the, they're, they're on at the same time zone. Maybe they're all U S players. Okay. So team one U S and then Sabo bomber hammer. Okay. So now we got this filled out Alliance member two, team two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or team one, excuse me. So this is team one. We got that filled out. This is, this is set in stone. These three are set in stone. We're not touching these anymore. So maybe now we're getting the second team together. So that's a Sabo. So we got bomber two, which is number five. This is five. So bomber. So we're going to write bomber here. And two was Sabo. And this is hammer. Okay. So now we're getting our team set up for our fobs. Okay. These, and then you can have this also. And then you, these guys can start talking to each other, each other before the server even starts. Hey, what are you good at? Hey, what comp are you going? Hey, blah, 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 all this shit. Okay. So you guys, you guys can be doing this. What's, what's wrong with, with pre-planning this. So like I said, our Atlas is set. Our T team two member for all, all three of these comps are set. So now we're going to go in here. Maybe this guy is, let's just say this guy's part of team two. It's really hard. So this is team two Sabo. So number three. 
So team two, so team three. So this is this is maybe these players maybe 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 these players are EU players. Okay. So you got the U.S. You got the U.S. TN uh, spy guy on team one, and the EU spy guy team using his ships for Sabo on t on on FOB team two. Okay. So now you've got now our bomber set, and then who is? So let's go copy this. And we're going to paste this. And we're going to copy this, and we're going to paste this. Okay. And same thing with this copy. Paste, copy, paste. Okay, and same thing with this. Copy, paste. Okay, I know this is a little chaotic. You know, uh, just just bear with me here. Uh, I'm doing this to, to like what I think how I would set it up. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got we've got two teams set. Okay, so all of these guys are already set. These are half twos. This is only two ops teams for for a fob and this is your atlas player so seven slots are already permanent already permanent now you've got your non sabo player coming up here oh, excuse me coming up here okay control no let's hit control let's see if control z fixes this so this was supposed to be control this through this is control copy Let's fix this. Control paste. Okay, so control copy. And then control paste and then delete this. So now this spot is set. This this Atlas TN player is your non Sabo, your non ops Sabo hammer. Okay. Like I said, they're not part of the FUB ops team. They're just for utility. They are clearing shit. They are dealing with threats. Maybe they're staying back in your uh, main production area or, or where all your team's capitals are, and they're trying to catch stuff that they see. Random, um, random uh, sabos coming into domes. They're trying to go after domes. They're not part of these three, so far, these two FOB teams that we already have. Okay, so now we've got this one set. What else do we want a third? So now we need our third team. So now we come up here. Okay. And maybe want, we want, we, 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 and we like the concept of sab bomber hammer and we go copy, uh, paste, we do this whole thing. So we'll go like this. We need, we need the bomber control copy. And then go like, I guess like go like this for now. So we need, we got another bomber. Change this to three. Sometimes I really don't. Oh, nope. Copy. Roll paste. So this is permanent. Now we got our, our bomber for number for team three. So that's our 10th, tenth, 10th tenth guy. Okay. I know this is a perfect world. I'm giving you examples of 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 options to to deviate from these are not set in stone you don't have to do this but it's in the perfect world this this is probably how i would do it bomber a third bomber or a third team you know uh, it's really really tough you might mo you obviously might want a lot a lot a lot more hammers but maybe this is a good comp for <clears throat> For this first comp is having a third and we're gonna uh, maybe i'll write something and and insert so we'll go like this we'll insert uh a insert one row above oh didn't mean to do that let's control z that so we're gonna click this go like this and insert one row above okay so now we got a row we're gonna we're gonna we're going to write an explanation in here of what this comp is doing. We'll write an, or this comp is doing <clears throat> what this comp is doing, what this comp is doing. Okay. So I know this is, this is actually, we should just write this as another comp. So comp for whatever. So faction probe comp for maybe, I don't know. We I'm not trying to get off track here. So, 
So like I said, this comp might want a third ops team for uh, their alliance, okay? <clears throat> so maybe we delete these. These aren't have tos anymore. These are more uh, needs of leader. And we'll go like this, control copy, and we'll go paste. We're no longer, you no longer have to, have to, have to have these, okay? But um, I might change one of these. So for example, maybe we change this one to have to, and you want, you want to have a Gatos, a Zyok Gatos, full Corvette production, or you could go, you could go um, Frontier FLs, Frontier Legion, just like this, Zayok Frontier for Bomber. You can go Zayok Frontier for Gatos. Full, um, full of Corvettes, full uh, patrols, or excuse me, pretty much full Corvettes. Excuse me. No, you can't use patrols. My bad. So full, um, full lights, and this guy's... Uh, his purpose is to uh, hit fobs, incoming fobs. Uh, he's gonna so we're gonna put soft, so softens up uh, threats that it, that need to be dealt with. There's gonna be uh, sometimes. I'm just gonna go like this, and then go control copy, control paste, and just leave this slot open because we want at least on this comp we want to. Uh, Comp four, so so this is this is this is alliance, alliance one, alliance two. These are different alliances. Maybe what they're running with three, alliance four. Everybody that's around you, see what their comps are. They have an atlas player. They have a couple TM players. A couple bombers. A couple hammers. Uh, a couple sab like their sabotage guys. Um, and then maybe they're running a third, like I said, a third, uh, so we'll go like this. We'll go, mm, so we'll go, uh, Sabo or three, no, three, come on. The only thing I like three, three Sabo. So this is part of ops three team. So this is number 11. So 11's going in here. So this is part of your, uh, the fobs of team three. So you know, I'm gonna rewrite these real quick. No, just bear with me. I ain't any any hurry. Uh, then we got fob, possibly fob team four. If 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 you're pre-planning and you have the flexibility of your alliance wanting to do this, so we're gonna I'm just gonna go dive deep on this. So uh, three, we'll go like this: control, copy, paste, and then change this to three. So this is part of team three. Zayak hammer uh, number three, meaning like uh. Carriers, uh, uh, frigates, carriers, frigate scouts, whatever this person's running with, um, all that good stuff because, you know, they're, they have their dome stations are not going to be making heavies or capitals, but they're going to have at least two, three, possibly four stations that could be pumping scouts. I've seen so many different, you know, maybe, maybe they want patrols, whatever, whatever they're going to be using for their lights. They're obviously going to be using them for a while until their hammer is pure heavies and uh, capitals. That's team three. So number 12, here's your, here's your third. Now you have your, so this alliance. So maybe this is your alliance. Your alliance is going with this build. Okay. Hey, <laughs> your alliance. So this is obviously a different kind of comp, but Atlas so far you've got, one atlas you've got one two three one two three four five you got five sabotage players so far so far you have one two
what was this? Sabotage hammer. It's not assigned to anything. So this maybe this is another. We're just gonna go. Uh, we're gonna copy this. And this, see this one was an, this, so this maybe this one's number four. Okay, we're just gonna write a four here so I don't get confused because maybe your maybe your alliance is has everything planned out for your fourth team. So four bomber, and then four. Uh, control copy, control paste. So your your alliance has already pre planned. We'll copy and then uh, control paste. This is like a let's delete this real quick. Uh, control copy paste and then control copy. So is that every team might want to. Uh, I I feel like every team has to have at least one Gatos player. Okay, so this is a half two. So Gatos is half two. So we're gonna just write this as Gatos. Uh, vets. <clears throat> Gatos Vets. Uh, Frontier Legion. Or uh, Zyok. Okay. So this is, this is the variation here. Like I said, needs of leader. So now you have, this is four, four, four. So Sabo is nine. So this is team member nine. Bomber is 14 and hammer is 15. Okay. So this is, maybe this is your, this is your team right here. You've got the two, three. So you're, you, you're purposing your, your two uh, TN spy guys as part of your fob, your fob ops. You've got an Atlas. You've got a Gatos number 13. So your variations the variation of this alliance is you've already assigned people into fobs. Your plan is to just make sure you always have your four fobs. Maybe you are waiting to do anything kind of offensive and push fronts or attack somebody until you got all your fobs built. And then you've got your guys inside those, these, these, these fobs. So you got team one is us team two is EU three, maybe us and team four is EU. Okay, and these all these people have their own separate Discord channels and they're all talking to each other. They're planning stuff out. They're making sure that they're they're scheduling what days that they're going to be able to run ops, all that good stuff. So right now, like I said, this this need of leader means that I'm going to have to have to. So Sabo Hammer. Non op Sabo. So this is part of all that. So this is part, this is the name of the Sabo. And this is the, this is the same as that. So we can just go control copy or control, control paste and then change this to three. Okay. So it's the same name. So there's no, you're not confused. It's the same, it's the same type of build Sabo hammer control. And these, these will change because obviously we're going to be doing different things over here. So needs of leader. Uh, that's fine. So the, the half twos are locked in the faction and what they're doing is locked in. So frontier legions, they, as I got so it's Gatos build is for just like, just that threat. They're keeping their fleets active. They're, 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 they're shooting things all over the place. They're trying to go after hangers. They're trying to go, they're finding people's capitals. They're constantly a harassing who you want to be harassing. They're not harassing everybody, but if you know who your enemy is, they are constantly, constantly, constantly hitting the three, four, or five uh, closest capitals that your enemy is, and they're constantly sending fakes. They're constantly sending batches of 100 Corvettes. They are saving up, saving up, saving up, doing a Gatos build. And so if you see this, I've set this up now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And the six, maybe this, maybe, maybe your last person you want 
is another Gatos, or maybe it's another, you want another hammer. Okay. So right now you're now you're, I mean this, your, your alliance is set. If you are running four four fob teams of bomber hammer Sabo. Okay. And you have all those people assigned and they're all talking to each other and they're working together. This team's done. This team has one, two, three, four, Five, one, two, three, four, five hammers, which is just, which is very, very light. But, but what I'm, but what you also have to think about is every single one of these people, maybe not your bombers, but your TN player, your other TN player, your, uh, Sabo hammer, your other, uh, Gatos is still going to have a capital ship assembly. You still have access to all 16 of your players are still going to have a capital ship assembly. They better be making capitals. Number the most important, the most important ship in this game is your carriers. A hundred percent. Make sure that if they are building carriers, they are keeping, they're getting their economy set up and making sure that they can do this. So this is the first comp. Maybe, and maybe this team does, maybe this team only has, um, access access to having their first two team uh fob set up maybe these guys are like hey this is all i want this is this is all i want it is nothing but pure hammers these guys are pure you know these nothing else is required all i want is hammers i want to be shitting and making sure that i have uh frigate carriers frigate carriers frigate carriers frigate carriers frigate carriers frigate frigate carriers that's all I want is, is, uh, is just, I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hammers on this thing. These guys only have five. Okay. Maybe this team is like, Hey, like I want, uh, we are going really heavy Sabo for whatever reason we want Sabo. We want Sabo. We want hammer. Maybe another guy wants to go bomber, you know, whatever that is. You as the leader need to get a temp, a temperature check on what your guys are doing. Like I said, this is two days. Today's Tuesday. There's a new, new server that starts on Thursday. You have 48 hours to talk all to all your guys and get your comp. Okay. Maybe this guy is doing, he wants to play Terran. Okay. And, and he just wants to be, maybe he's just. Maybe there's like this niche Terran build that all he wants to do is make fobs. All he want, all this guy wants to do, is he wants to play Terran. He wants to help with the AS and he wants to help build the fobs. Okay, whatever. Let him do that. That's a very good utility to have in, in the Alliance is somebody just focusing on Terran and wants to build stuff for you. Maybe, maybe you, you are going to have players that need AFK build. You need to figure out what a good AFK build is. AFK build. Okay, maybe these people are MPL players. They are MPL. They are making frigates and, and carriers and they're just going to park them somewhere. Okay? Same thing with this guy. You have another guy that can barely play, but he know he's a veteran. He knows how to keep his, his cues full. Okay? Same thing. This person is MPL build. Uh, super aggressive economy and can just keep and can queue up 12 hours, 24 hours of frigates and, and carriers and just park them somewhere. They're parking them at the Alliance station. They're parking them at, at the front line, all that good stuff. Okay. And then maybe this, this team has a hammer and act. We should call this like active, active hammer. Okay. Active hammer. And like I said, you like, and maybe this, maybe for whatever reason, this team has two people that want to do the same shit. They want to go Terran. They want to help build stuff. They want to go Terran. They want to help build stuff. And like, like they're just like a utility player. Or these people can be like another Gatos for a copy. So maybe you got, maybe you got your team has three Gatos players. Okay. This is like, I'm just, I'm trying to get you guys to think and understand and, and pre-plan your team. Do it now. Figure out who you who you guys are. Who wants to play Atlas? You have to have this. 
you have to have one or two TN players for spy reports. Okay. You have to have at least two bombers. You have to have, I mean, I would say you have to have more hammers than this, but the needs of the leader, those get covered. If it was my way, I would probably have at least four, maybe five of these are just pure hammers. Okay. If you have a couple of people that don't, that don't have good activity, like they're AFK building, but they're MPL, they have the MPL faction and they can just park. Like there's nothing like there's nothing wrong with having a good defense in this game. Okay. Logistics hubs and you have one or two, maybe three guys that are AFK MPL players and they're just parking their carriers and frigate somewhere. You're going to have those players. You don't want to deny a vet being like, oh, well, you're not active enough. Dude, never, ever say that to somebody. If they are willing to reach out and be like, hey, I'm a veteran, but I have to work a little bit but they know how they know how this game works and they're really good at it. Even, even an AFK vet player is going to be 10 times better, unfortunately, than a brand new player that's really active. That's going to make a hundred mistakes. I would much rather have an AFK vet player that makes zero mistakes versus a brand new player, you know, on their first server, that's learning the game, making a hundred mistakes. And they don't know how HSAs work. They don't know how the mining colonies work. That never ever do that. There's always a place in your alliance for a vet. Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, a little bit of feedback. So maybe this guy, like I said, this is like a, a four fob uh team uh team comp. Make this a little bit bigger so we can fit these in. So this one is a more hammer. Hammer focused comp. Okay. This, uh, so maybe you have some more people that want to do Sabo and, uh, some more Zot. Maybe you have either a little bit, have a little bit more Gatos on your team. So maybe this, this, this guy is, uh, real copy is Gatos. And maybe you just have, maybe you don't even have, like on this one, you don't even want to allocate teams to your fobs. You're just like, fuck it. We're going to build some fobs and we're just going to put people in them and see what happens. But I'm telling you guys the reflection here. If you watch and if you just fast forward and watch in the last minute of this, there's just some things you have to have in your Alliance dropping a thousand point probes, the ability to spy the ability to have some people on bombers, some people on hammers and some people, uh, doing sabotage for you. You need to have somebody floating around on Sabo that's clearing shit. Maybe, oh, maybe you have a guy that's doing stealth. Okay, maybe this guy is stealth. Some kind of stealth TN build. And he's just hitting random uh, outposts stealth. It takes him a long time to get online, but very useful, very useful. You can't see this movement. A very niche build, okay? So hopefully this helped, guys. Um, give me some feedback on this one. I'm going to post this one right away. See if you guys like this, uh, until next time. Um, and then this is my last point. Start getting your own Google doc. Good Lord. With this game, playing this game, playing world of Warcraft, playing Eve, playing all that stuff. Some of you guys are in fear for your life by using spreadsheets. I am telling you, there is nothing more important than the words and the organization that you do yourself. I have every single spreadsheet and Google doc that I've had for the last three years playing Starborn. I have reference material. I have write-ups of the people that I've played against, the people that have backstabbed, the people that are really good at ops. You guys need to start holding on to this information and keep your own personal Google Doc. Look at the bottom here. I have a bunch of other shit down here. I've got stuff about uh, World of Warcraft down there. I have stuff about uh, New World and other games that I'm playing. But I'm telling you, start tracking your everything that you want in this game. Just like I ha now I have this forever. I have, I have this spreadsheet I just made as reference material to give to somebody. So hopefully this is helpful. 
I know that was 45 minutes. Uh, once again, guys, these are my thoughts. I appreciate you guys. Leave me some feedback. Until next time, guys, peace out later.